Welcome, and thanks for joining with AIP, the American Institute of Pyramid Research. We study pyramids around the world, especially in Egypt, with the belief they hold special wisdom. Please subscribe to our channel as we uncover long hidden secrets, explain sacred symbols, and demystify the world's greatest mysteries. Here. Right. There's the Great Pyramids. Up here is Abrawash. Yeah. That's me. You've got one over here. You've got one over here. Cause show me, yeah, so show me, show me, uh, show me Bellatrix again. Bellatrix is in this area right in here. We're chasing down the places on Egyptian soil where the stars to Orion land on the Earth. And there's some obvious pyramids in where some of the stars are. Rigo, Betelgeuse, obviously, Alni Tom, Alni Lak, Mintaka. But the point we're going to right now is one of the shoulder stars. It's the star Bellatrix. And the GPS coordinate that we have for where the star Bellatrix is right here. It's right here. And what's so interesting to me is that Bellatrix is the shoulder from which the arm is extended that holds the, the lion's head. And this, this road down right here is an ancient roadway. And so, you know, that the deserts out there this is a major roadway right here. So, you know, when one civilization takes over from another civilization, they don't rip up all the roads and say, that's their road, let's, let's rip it up, we'll come over here. This, this is an ancient, so, so roads led to right here. Like this point is not in the desert over there, or it's not like over there, it's at this, this is where Bellatrix comes down right here. And so here's the arm, it's, it's, it's the shoulder. So here's the arm. This is Bellatrix, the shoulder. That arm is the arm that holds the lion's head. And again, this is a, you know, a, you know I mean, this, this is a ring road. It's a, it's a famous road in Egypt, and this is a major road. So this is where Bellatrix is. So, so there's nothing here, there's not a pyramid here, there's obviously not a pyramid here. Although, again, my friend Mr. Hunter says that there is, you know, a pyramid 30 meters down, but this this will never be excavated. This, you know, because they're, they're, they're not gonna move the road out here. So this will, this will never be excavated. So whether there's a pyramid really here or not, we don't know. But the point is, you know, a, pyramids always have a causeway. And they're, they're a singular place. So I'm just saying, this is an ancient, an ancient pathway leads to here. So Bellatrix, the shoulder of Orion. This is where it comes down on Egyptian soil. And, and the way that I'm piecing this together, I'm not limited to being a forensic scientist that says, okay, there's no pyramid here. So the Orion correlation theory is baloney. Because there's too many hits. There's too many places where there are pyramids. So I'm just saying that the fact of where this is, it's not over there, it's not over there, it's here, which is an ancient major thoroughfare, that that's something. And part of what I'm doing, since I believe the Alpha and Omega is involved in the interplay of pyramids, I mean, this is a mystical thing we're talking about, a connection between the constellation Orion and the Earth, the, the you know, Egyptian saying, as above, so below. That's a mystical concept. That's not something a forensic scientist can, can you know, pound into. But it's something that a researcher that has more of a romantic view, romantic in the most scientific sense, trying to think beyond just being stuck with what archaeologists are stuck with, they're stuck with, you know, okay, make sure you, you know, have a 
catalog every stone here, catalog every stone. That's good, we need archaeology. We need the hard science and nothing else. But we also need the thinkers, the people that put it in perspective. What did the Egyptians think? That's not put down in stone. To understand how, how well, what their worldview was, how they thought, how they felt. That's not something that forensic science can perfectly, you know, uh, uh, illuminate. So, the Alpha and Omega led these people to this esoteric idea. You know, they had gods, they believed in gods, they believed in things above themselves. Those forces above them, bigger than them, led them to, to take the sky and put it on Earth. And so, part of what I find is my job in, in, this, in this great, great dramatic picture is to think about what's being said now. Because there's not an ancient pyramid here, even though there might be one below me. There's a very good chance, I think, there's probably something here. But what, what is the message now? Okay, there's no pyramid here. That's part of the message. But what is here? What is the Alpha and the Omega saying to us who come after those who put the pyramids where stones were? They were told, they were led, they had a master plan. It's, it seems irrefutable to me and non-falsifiable that they did it. It seems non-falsifiable. You can't disprove it. You, you might say to me, you haven't proved it. That's fine. But I'll say to you, you haven't disproved it. I'm sure of that. I'm sure you haven't disproved it. I'm sure of that. Yeah, you can say I haven't proved it, but I will say you haven't disproved it, and that's the standoff. So I'll continue going on, on that basis, because it's not falsifiable, but I'm, it's not falsifiable. So I will extrapolate about what does it mean today, and I won't do that right now while we're here you know, on the ground, but, but I think that's what I want to think about. I'm looking at the past, not to say, oh look, here's the pharaoh of so and so, and here's the sarcophagus, and here's his tomb. I'm saying, okay, that's what his, that's what his job was, that's what they did. Now my job now is, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean for us today? So, we're about to head out now to another one of the stars out in the desert. It's always a little scary going out in the desert. We've been out there before. There's, you know, there's dunes and there's cliffs and there's canyons. There really are. And uh, I'm a little bit scared going with my cameraman, my compatriot, my son, Orion. The person filming me right now is named Orion. I named him Orion. I'm chasing down the Orion Coalition Group. So the star we're going to out in the desert is, is the head star of Orion, the multiple star in my son. So Orion said, you look up in the night sky, you see Orion, you see a shoulder, you see a shoulder. Up here is the head star, MISA. And we know the GPS coordinate for it. I'm more confident than ever that the method we're using to bring heaven down to earth, as above, so below, I'm more confident than ever that we're really on it in Egypt. I'm more confident than ever. So when we go out to the GPS coordinate where MISA is, I think we're going to see something too, just like we found here. The junction point of a major thoroughfare. This could have been, you know, a, a, a pharaoh's complex of some kind, a temple, a tomb, whatever, here. And so out in the desert, where we're going now, I think we're fine. Because I've never been to the point we're going to right now. You're, you're on an adventure with us. You're on an adventure with us because you'll be going where. No one's ever gone before, so let's do it, let's go do it.